Okay, this is New Hampshire Cross Country .com, powered by Runners Alley coming at you from the Division Three State Championships. This year's Meet Hub brought to you by CM Truck and Trailer Sales over in Chichester, New Hampshire. So we got the girls um, today, and we got some pretty good girls teams this year. Yeah. Hopkinton, number seven in the top ten in the state of New Hampshire. Kearsarge and Campbell. Who some of the top individuals were? Uh, we got Kearsarge Maya Doobie. She's always right up front. New England uh, champion in the mile. Yeah, so obviously one of the favorites. Uh, and then they also have Bear and Bears. It's a little confusing. Spelled differently um, on both of them. Yep. Yeah. And then uh, Portsmouth Christian has Liza Corzo and Brianna Malone. Liza Corzo is as tough as anybody in the state. Yeah, she's very fast. There was... Uh, in that race with Maya Doobie last year in, in outdoor, she held on for oh. quite a while. She, she's that there's one girl that never gives up. You know, Maya Doobie will probably move on. She'll be the state champ next year. We'll see. Maybe she could be the state champ this year. Yeah. You never know. Yeah, she's really tough. And then uh, Hopkinton has Roth and Bennett and Campbell, uh, Cassie Hemming. So quite a few individuals to look out for. Um, but the team score should be interesting. The D1 was very interesting. Yeah, there was some upsets. <laughs> good, good races today. Yeah, yeah so, I mean, there's been some sweeps in Division 2. You know, we got a 1 2 3 on Sawegan, Sa a 1 2 3 on uh, Co Brown. Brown, and a 1 2 in Bishop Gurdon. So it seems to be the theme today. And then uh, in Division 1, you saw two Concord teams win. And uh, they didn't have anybody place up in the top. Yeah, so it could go so either way. They used middle pack running. Yeah. Hey, you know what I learned in the Concord race? Win the battles that you're in. And if you do that, that's what that's what can win these cross country races. Yeah, I mean Concord. Every was, point counts. Concord was very close to each runner, like one through five. But if you beat every runner, that's that's you know a swing of like ten points right that's there. Right. So and they can make did. a big difference. Pinkerton was was winning that race, and I think Pinkerton must have finished third. I'm not sure, but um, but that's good. so you got to run the full three point one. Yeah, especially at this course, because that last little bit, pretty tough. And the whistle. And we're off. Okay, they're off. This is probably one of the bigger races of the day. There you see all the boxes used uh, down towards the lower side of the field, which we haven't seen yet today. So Corzo right there on the left, going right to the front. Maya Doobie going to the front. Maya Doobie on the outside. So one's on one side and one's yep. on the other side. Exactly opposite each other, but they're about... They're already in first and second place. They're about even. So we'll see, uh, we'll see. Some of the races have gone out fast, some of them have gone out slow. So we'll see what these girls do over the first mile. All right, so we're here for the uh, the G3 girls race, and the the team favorite is is uh, Hoptington, followed closely by Kirsage and Campbell. From an individual perspective, Maya Doobie of Kirsage the favorite, followed by Liza Corso, and they are one two as this race goes by us. Yep, Liza right Brenda there. Malone also right up there. More from Portsmouth Christian coming through. Hopkin just sent their basically their whole varsity right by, so they're mm -hmm. they're clearly the team to beat. And we can see our leaders coming into view now. I see Liza Corso on the left. That is Maya Doobie leading it though. Cassie Hemming is up there as well for Campbell. Do expect those three to kind of keep going back and forth, see if anyone wants to take it out today. Still pretty good pack up front. Little kid trying to get a little bit closer view of the action. But right now it is those three battling with Corso with a slight edge. Hemming on the inside track for the tree. Come on, Faye! Faye! Come on, Faye! You got this! 
Hopkinton looking pretty strong. They're running all as a group today. I saw at least five through there. Let's go Prospect! Currently the only ranked D3 team. Hopefully some other teams are gonna show us what they got today. Keir, Sarge, Campbell, other teams I'm looking for. Scenic with a good pack. Guilford, Campbell, Dairyfield, the Huskies, Interlakes, Trinity. Top five teams will make it on to meet of champions. Again, right now we're at the, about a thousand meters in. We're gonna throw it over to the one mile and see how things are going up front. Right, let's see what we got. See if Maya Doobie's laying the hammer down. I would imagine. I'm sure it's gonna be Maya and Liza right behind her, yeah. Oh, it's closer than we think. Wow, pretty But they're right together. They got a pack of four right up front that has separated. Yeah, alone right in there. One of the best middle schoolers last year. So we got Maya Doobie, Liza Corson. Liza Corso. Brianna Malone. Coming through about six. Still close. pretty tight. Yeah, about. 615 pace. 617, I mean. So let's try to figure out the team. Kearsage has got four. Big, big three right, right together now. right there. Hopkinton is going to be the chase pack. But no doubt about who's winning this race right now, early yeah. on in the mile. It's uh, Kearsage. Yeah, definitely still close enough to uh, to catch them, no problem. So, but as we've learned today, it's not where you're at the mile, it's where you're at with the finish. Yeah, we've seen a lot of races today that uh, that the scores were completely different at this point than they were at the end. So, nice big cone impact. It's funny how these races are all setting up. A little bit different every time. All right, the only thing that I will say is Kearsage's five um, is a little bit further back. So if there's enough runners in between there, there four and five, then I think Hopkins can can squeeze in there. Yeah, exactly. Because that was a pretty big gap between their four and five. So that may be the the, the difference maker. Right. And as we said before, no matter who you have. You you top four. Hills, yeah, man. you gotta have you gotta have five five runners that are strong enough to win a state championship. So here we have Kearsarge and Portsmouth Christian neck and neck here coming into the third mile. And put a considerable distance on Portsmouth Christian's number two runner. You're coming through right where you, where you thought. Right around 13 minutes right now, okay? So that was Kearsarge's Maya Dewey. Uh, PCA yeah, Liza man, Corso yeah, and right. Brenna Malone. Let's go, or Max. Brianna Malone. Come on, Max. 1.1 to go. You got a good lead. You got to use these downhills, though. So. You got this, Max. You got it. Keep Here's believing. the Pacers Let's go. coming Let's go. in at number four really and on the individual Let's side. Go. Let's go, Max. Let it rip. Come on. Come on, girls. And here comes Keir Sarge, two and three, working together here. 15 seconds behind you, ladies. Let's go, girls. So on the team side of things. It's like a battle between Keir Sarge and Portsmouth Christian. Although Hoppington could. Oh, that's a pack right there, coach. Could spell some trouble for those teams as they come in one, two, and three. Nice job. And four. Here we go, Anna. Right with them. Here we go, Kaylee. The Hoppington group has been very impressive in this race so far. Not spreading out very much, keeping their pack nice and tight as their number five comes right through. And there's Hoppington, number six.
six, I believe, and seven. So that will close out their whole team. So it looks like a pretty strong case that they could get the numbers to pull off a victory here. Hobson coming in at number seven in the state in the D3 world. Comes forth with Christian's number three runner. We're seeing Conan for the first time through the two mile up towards mile number three. Comes Ella Malone of Portsmouth Christian. And two more Kier Sarge runners in here. Messenic making their presence known here. Come on, Marley. Come on, Caitlin. So on the individual side on this race, it could be anyone's race. Namely, Liza Corzo and Maya Doobie battling it out. Comes more from Kearsarge, Conan, and Messenic. Followed by Campbell. So as we see the rest of the pack come through, we'll take you down to the finish line to witness a very exciting race between the two individuals Come on, Olivia. coming down the stretch. So here's your leader, Maya Dubia Kirasaj, New England champion in the mile last year. Pretty good gap. Of course, so hanging tight here from Course of Christian. And not actually a huge gap there. Teammate, Brianna. Brianna, Brianna Malone. Malone. So they're going 2-3 for PCA. I don't know that yeah, nice they sometimes have a hard time having a full roster. Yeah, I don't know yeah, if they actually fielded a team full team. Hunt, but, you know, but but they might be able to sneak out a top five spot if they're if they're at full roster. Yeah. Last time we raced them, they weren't. They, so, you know, they didn't. They didn't have. Didn't have five. Yeah. Five. So pretty. Uh, well, two three is a good start. It is a good pretty, start. Five. Pretty big gap between the top three and then the rest of this pack. Another Kirasage here. No, this, that's Hinsdale. Oh, Hinsdale. Sorry. Maggie St. John. Similar oh, uniform. You're forgiven. Me. <laughs> Pacers. Pacers. Hinsdale. Hinsdale Pacers. I didn't know who she was coming up the hill right. either. So at least I'm consistent. Right. Here's Kirasage. There we go. Two and three for Kirasage. Yeah. Lily and Jenna. Both, both ahead of the entire hot Yeah, big big top three for Kearsage. Yeah, I, I have a feeling we're gonna see a green wave come around this corner pretty soon. Here it yeah. comes. And Kearsage's five is a little bit further back. There's one Hopkins in there. There's one. Campbell's first. There's two more Hopkins in coming around the corner. So that's three for them. So three for each team now. Kearsage and Hockey. Yeah, Kearsage with the big advantage right now. Right now, yeah. Oh, here's four. There's four. So it's really about where that Kearsage five comes in. Oh, here's Kearsage four and then Hockey four. So Kearsage five has to really uh, bring it in and not let too many people come in ahead of her. But She's going to be the Kearsage key right now. Kearsage did have the low numbers up front. So they did. Yep. So as long as she can hold on and not uh, not let come too on, many Gwen. people come in in between her and uh, Hopkinson's, you know, five six. Although they have on, this is their seven. Yeah, now they're displacing. Right, so they're adding even more points to her. But they should have enough time here, uh, or it's a spread out enough that there shouldn't be too many people in between. So this is uh, Kirsaj Maidubi. Coming around the final bend before the straightaway to the finish. Just cruising right now. That looks actually very comfortable. And the Kirasage 5 is going behind us right now. So that, this could be interesting. Yeah. There's Liza Corzo. And we can see our leader coming into view now. This is your 2019 Division three state championship and all alone out in front Maya Doobie New England champion From the mile last year. She looks good. No one in view 
perfect running form. Comes Liza Corson coming up behind her. Outstanding. Division three champion, Maya Duby. Comes Liza Corson and I think that's gonna be her teammate, Brianna Malone. Brianna Malone, last year, one of the top girls in middle school. Another. Plus the Christian's got two in the top three. 1930. Yeah, it's a good showing from them. Still no one in that fourth place site yet. It just goes to show how strong those top three girls are. So at, at the mile, it looked like Kiasage was winning, and then up on top, Hopkinton decided to show their, their power. Yeah, I know Hopkinton was running as a pack when I saw him at the 1,000, and they looked pretty good right there. But now we do see our fourth place runner. Pacers, she's running pretty hard. As we do see Kearsarge at number four, that was St. John of Hinsdale. So here's Kearsarge, is 2-3, the Bear Girls. No relation. Lily and Jenna. Lily first, Jenna second. So Cassie Hemming. Now we'll do the, do the math. Hopkinton's first girl. Hopkins is that was Hannah Bennett. Second and third coming into view. Hopkins is fourth coming into view. Yeah, they're running as a pack. Hopkins wants this title bad. Riley. We're putting up some solid times. Emma Roth just crossing the line. His Kiasaj is fourth. And Hopkinton's fifth. fifth. So right now. If Kiyosage's fifth comes in, they would have this, but... Yeah, there's a few cool. bodies in between. That's 18 runners in, so all still real low numbers. Again, the top 30 individuals will make it on to be the champions. Comes Hopkins in sixth and seventh. This is where the sixth and seventh come into play. Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's displacement right there. I think Hopkins is going to take this. Yeah, they got good depth right there. They're showing it. Yep. When you put seven in front of the five, that's usually an um, indication that you've won. <laughs> Top five D3 teams make it on to meet the champions as well. Yeah, the number's getting too big now. Yeah, that, that's a lot of bodies for Kearsarge to make up. The other Malone, 2204. Ella Malone. This Kearsage is fifth. I just think it's too far back at this point. Yeah. Still a good race, still a good team thing. We do see them now. They will make it on to meet the champions. Plus, well, Christian's got four in now. Yeah, they've looked pretty good, huh? Yeah. If they can get a fifth in there, they might be able to sneak out a third place team. So our top 30 has come and gone. This Kearsage is sixth. Now the only way to make it is with your team. And it's hard with the red because you have Newmarket and Campbell. Yeah, very it similar. So, so much the same. Perfect racing conditions. Oh yeah, you can't ask for better right now for these girls. I like seeing that, racing all the way to the line, yep. trying to get that spot, because you never know what it can mean for your team. You never know. Point added on, points subtracted. If you want your season to continue. You may not win the race, but you can win the battle that you're in. Oh yeah. That's the most important thing. Yep, you can get a lot of pride from that aspect as well. Right. Especially when your team is on the line, you gotta win the battle that you're in. See Campbell and Newmark, those uniforms look exactly the same. They're still piling. Look at the pack of runners coming in now. Get yeah. Fall Mountain, get Monadnock. Definitely our biggest race so far of the day. Yep. Thinking D3 boys might have a little bit more as Mike well. Mike Smith's daughter, Messinic, coming in. Lorenz and Monadnock. 
Fall Mountain with the Mitchell Fall Mountain. Dowd of Trinity, Grondon, Gorham, Lipinski of Conan. It's still coming. And you know what's funny in Division Three? There's some of these girls are eighth graders. Oh yeah, that's you know? right. Yeah. The smaller schools getting that. Uh, you know, if they need that help, they can right. pull up. And we we're just talking about that. You know, because you still have to have. You have still have the same amount of sports usually, but you got to find enough girls to fill out those squads yep. in your school. Absolutely. So sometimes you might have to deep dip into eighth grade, or no one gets to really compete. With a good number of the girls finishing up their race of the day, hoping to advance one more week, staying alive yep. one more week. This has been New Hampshire CrossCountry.com, powered by Runners Alley. Meet Hub, brought to you by CM Truck and Trailer out of Chichester, New Hampshire. This has been your girls' Division Three State Championship race.